Representative, I understand that. And the counter to that would be to you, Representative Todd, easy for Barry Moore to say, but what happens when Patricia Todd does the same thing and gets married without the license and God forbid something happens to her spouse, her partner, God forbid there's a medical emergency or an estate issue, what happens if you don't have the license? Well, then I'm dead in the water. I have no legal right. Uh, to take care of my partner, or make decisions for them should the a health care issue need to be decided. And I think it's really interesting. This is sort of like compared to the poll taxes during the 60s. You know, you don't like a decision a court makes, so you're going to just throw up all these roadblocks. And uh, to get out of the marriage business altogether, I mean, really? I mean, I just, you know, you can't just have religious ceremonies. You have to have a legal document that's a contract between two people, um, and so I think it's unrealistic. But it doesn't surprise me. The tactics that will be used to fight this and not be in compliance are going to be monumental, and I think it, they're going to throw everything they can in the bucket to see what sticks.